Hello there and welcome back. It's another episode with Los Betacus and things are really starting to heat up. Let's run the intro and then let's talk about what's happened. Let's start by talking through the fixtures that you've missed. So when we were last together was the Barcelona 3-0 win at home. What a fantastic result that was, by the way. Since then, we've had four games. Athletic Bilbao away, we won 3-1. Osasuna away, we won 4-1. We were beaten 2-1 at home by Atletico Madrid and then got a 1-0 win away at Eibar. That'll bring us into today's fixtures. So two home games for us, Valencia at home and then Huesca at home. Both games that we should look to win. Valencia are sixth in the table at the minute and doing quite well. Let's have a look at the league table. So as you can see there, Betis sitting in second place. Nine points behind Real Madrid. One point clear from Atletico and five points clear from Barcelona as well. Champions League football is definitely looking doable for us. Now if we look at the fixtures, realistically, the next eight games, there's no massive challenge. So unless we start falling apart... I feel like we could cement our position in the top four by then. Looking at Nicolas Pepe as well. Four games so far and two goals already. He's looking like an absolute steal. Only 5 million up front and then 15 million next season. He's looking really good. I'm really, really impressed with him. So going into today's game, we're going to be playing the usual team, which is Livakovic in goal, Emerson, Bartra, Ruiz and Moreno, Herrera and Castrovilli in the middle, Fakia. Behind the striker, Pepe on the right, Bergwijn on the left, and Kyle George up front. Not really finding a place for Joaquin, which is very disappointing. But let's get into this game and see if we can get another win. It's a tough one today, Valencia, but it is winnable. Game time then. Bartra to Fakia. Good ball out to Bergwijn. Don't lose out there. Good ball back to Fakia. Here's Herrera. Moreno. Just love the way we control the ball. and oh, Yeah, just as I'm saying that, we give the ball away. Lee Kang in. Guedes. He's gone beyond the whole defence. But then puts it well wide. Question has to be where we, where we can get to this season. Sitting in second place right now. Nine points back from Real Madrid, so I don't think a title charge is on. But top four position would be absolutely fantastic for this club. Maxi Gomez on the right. Is Musa good block? I'm assuming that's Moreno. Where there's Lee Kang in and Valencia go in front against Betis. It's not the end of the world if we didn't win today, but we really can't afford to get beat. Fakia with the call with the ball in. Oh, off the post. Gaia to take. Fedos header, good header off the post. Is Fakia. He's got men on his right hand side if you can see them. Great run for Kia. Pull it back. Kyle George. Good goal. Wonderful break away from Batiste there. You'll see it once more for Kia down the left. What a player this lad is. And Kyle George just adding to his tally. Just keep scoring goals at the minute. Emerson. No. Guedes. No one with him. Oh, he just beats everybody and puts it in. Come on. Seriously. Just watch this. Bursting down the left. At this point, you're thinking, there's no one in the middle. He's running down a cul-de-sac. He's not going anywhere. He thinks differently. Beats the first man inside the second. Straight through the keeper's legs. That's a poor goal to concede. That's not a great ball. Don't lose it there. Maxi Gomez. Musa down the right. Don't let him cross it. We've got rid of it just about. For Kia. Let's break on them. Kyle George. Castrovilli. Cross it. Cross it. Can we build from the back? Pepe. What's he got in his locker? It's Bergwijn. 
Pereira. Look forward. Don't lose it there. Fakia. Moreno. Kyle George. Great bit of defending. Let's just get, let's, let's get a goal. Come on now. Moreno. Romario. Hit one. Good efforts. Castrovilli. Oh, they're going to break, aren't they? Guedes. That's a bad ball. Mark Bartret. We'll deal with that. Pepe. Gonna go alone and over the bar. Last chance, Canales. Cherisev with the header away. Castrovilli. Cross it. Ball across Canales. Mm, if that lands to Fakir, does it go in? Maybe a mistake. Cherisev. Soler in the middle. Surely the end of the highlights here. Cherisev. Gaia. Cherisev. Guedes. Well, it's game over now. Valencia are going to win at Betis. Disappointing. Ganales out for two weeks as well. Right. We'll come back in a couple of days. Eight days when Huesca is on. Time for the next game then as Real Betis take on Huesca, who are sitting 18th in the league. Two changes coming up for us as well. Funes Mori comes in at centre-back due to an injury to Mark Bartra. And Joaquin is going to play as the attacking midfielder. Fakir is out for a couple of days. No, no real worry about that. Canales doesn't look quite fit enough to start. We're going to start with Joaquin. Canales will probably come on. But here we go then. Betis against Huesca. Right then, well, we need a win today. That's the... Definite about it. Win today puts us back above Atletico. But Barcelona will have two games in hand on us, so they can pip us to second spot. Right, first highlight, 42 minutes in. Sounds about right. Here's Joaquin. What can he conjure up with that right foot of his? Running down the right. That's where he likes to play anyway. Beats his man. Here's Pepe. Castrovilli, chance to hit one. And it goes straight through the goalkeeper. Suspect goalkeeping there. But we'll take it. Petit's one. Huesca nil. Let's have another look at it. The work from down the right hand side from Joaquin is good. He pulls it inside to Pepe. Castrovilli's shot. Goalkeeper should do better. But we take them. Can we get a second just before half time? That'd be nice. Emerson's ball in. Oh, we're back to not doing throw ins. Is Herrera. Emerson. Joaquin's cross, Kyle George, good header. And that is more like it, Betis 2, Huesca 0. An excellent end to the first half. Lovely play by Emerson. Joaquin's first time cross, Kyle George, great header. Well, I don't even know what was going on there. Pinball in the box, here's Joaquin though. Slip it through. Go alone, here's Pepe. Chance to hit one. It's well defended. Batiste moving into second place with a win today. That's going to be really huge. Good ball from Wacky Pepe. Is he onside? He is. Nicolas Pepe, his third goal of the season. Batiste lead by three goals to nil. Job done. Couple of changes as well. Canales and Teo coming on. Just to give us fresh legs up front. Gomez looks for Sandro. Melanda. Castrovilli. Loses out. Gomez on his own. Livakovic is there. Clean sheets are coming back as well. Let's not have any messing about right at the end. Castrovilli, Herrera. Emerson. Really whipped the ball in. Castrovilli. Across. Kyle George. 21 goals for the season. What a player this lad is. What a signing it's been. I knew he was a wonder kid on the game, but I, honestly, I didn't expect this from him. It's worked out absolutely perfectly. Betty's four, Huesca nil. And there is the end of the game. Hands on hips, very happy. Job done. Look at that from Kyle Jones. 25 appearances, 21 goals. 23 of those were starts as well, so two off the bench. Forget about them. Three assists and four man of the match. So it's been quite a short update today. 
but I think that's understandable. So the next time we come back, we'll aim for Real Madrid and Sevilla if if it's hot enough. If if we've lost a couple of games and you know we're on a bit of a bad run or something like that, we'll come back sooner. But realistically, Real Madrid and Sevilla will be the next episode, and then we'll have the three games to end the season in the episode after that. So should be nice for us. Let's have a look at the league table. And as you can see there, Batiste are second. If Barcelona win both their games in hand, they'll go above us. Real Madrid look out of sight now. Realistically, they'll probably win their both their games in hand and be 12 points clear, which is fine. We're not aiming for a league title in any way. I think we've done really, really well to be in the position that we're in. As long as we're in the top four at the end of the season, I'll be happy. And we are six points clear of Valencia in fifth. So we've got a two-game buffer on them. So we should be looking okay. Villarreal are a little bit of a problem if they win their games in hand. Let's see how it goes over the next few. So once again then, thank you very much for being here. I hope that you're enjoying the series. I know I'm enjoying it. I'm absolutely delighted to be playing Football Manager again. It's such a great game. We'll be back very, very shortly. The FIFA series, if you were up to date with it, has now ended. So realistically, it'll be three episodes of Football Manager every single week up until the new FIFA comes out, and then we'll, we'll jig things around. Thank you again. See you next time.